Hi there, namaste, and welcome back to another spiritualistic pick a card reading. Thank you so much for being here today. Today I am channeling a message to you from Krishna. So please take a deep breath, drawing the energy up your spine, creating a clear and open channel. And as you exhale, allow yourself to come into clear knowing which group or groups has your message in it for you today. We have group number one on the left with make your own path. Group number two in the center with exploring patience. And group number three on the right with expect the unexpected. As always, the timestamps to your readings are listed below in the description box, as well as my store where you will be able to find my follow your heart oracle deck, as well as the other tarot and oracle decks that we will be using in today's reading, my books, journals, fun merchandise for your zodiac sign, etc meditation cushions all of that good stuff as well as personal readings <laughs> and reiki sessions with me if you're interested thank you so much for being here today i love you i'm grateful for you and i will see you at your reading namaste hi there group one namaste and welcome to your reading today i'm channeling a message to you from krishna and you selected the first group with the make your own path card there seems to be a calling or a soul mission that you have been guided to enact upon. Maybe there's a vision that you recently had, or there's a vision you've had for a long time that you've recently gotten the green light for. Krishna would like for you to know that you are guided and to allow yourself to follow the natural organic flow of energies at this point in time. Trust that things are going the way that they're meant to and that it's important that you see where it is that you're going so that when you are called to make little adjustments on your path, you understand why. Some of the things that you are going to be called to do, and perhaps already have been a little bit, are going to require you to go outside of the status quo in both your life and perhaps what you see around you, in small ways and eventually larger and larger and larger. Allow yourself to see this like sifting through energy, for example, if you have dough and you're trying to stretch it out, you'll stretch out the right until it gets to a certain um, consistency and then you stretch out the left until it's at a certain like thickness or consistency and then you stretch out the top and the bottom and you even it out, etc. So you'll be called to stretch a little bit on the right, not too much, but a little bit and then a little bit to the left and then to roll it out in the center, so, so on and so forth. So this will be something where literally you are making your own path. There is something here that you are called to that has not yet been done in the structure that you're being called to do it. So group number one, Krishna would like you to know that you are guided and you are supported and not to forget to have fun and dance along the way. Allow yourself to practice earthing or grounding, spend some time barefoot in nature or just in your everyday life. Do not forget to connect with, yes, your feet, the soles of your feet, but also your toes and your heels. There is a lot of energy that is held within the toes that a lot of times can turn dormant or unrecognized because of the structure of our regular everyday life. So do not forget to connect with your toes. Let's get into your cards, group number one. So let's see messages from Krishna to group number one. Messages from Krishna to group number one. This is my graphic tarot. Okay. We have King of Pentacles coming out for you, as well as the Nine of Cups. You are going to be making a lot of progress towards something that you desire in your heart. Now, taking a look at something that you physically desire or that your emotions desire, you might take a look at this pertaining to the large vision of yourself and wonder why it is that when you no longer want this, it is in your life, but it is the, the reason that you want it that is important to you. The reason why you want it is because it will help you. It is required in order to fulfill this vision. However, when you release your want and desire for it, the vision comes in more clearly and things are easily accessible for you. Krishna would like to let you know, group number one, that with these energies, trust that the divine will support you in all ways, spiritual, stable, and emotional. You are seeking freedom in the ways that your mind can tell you you can have freedom. And while this is correct, 
The ways that you are going about it, the ways that you think are possible for this to come in, are limited to your own perception. So Krishna would like for you to release certain ideas of what it is that you need, want, and desire, and allow it to be shown to you. Because there is a simpler way, there is an easier way, there is a more aligned way, and there is a freer way. One that allows you to take the weight of the world off your shoulders. They're showing me um, Atlas. Okay. We have two kings and a queen coming out so far, so that can be significant for some of you. Krishna would like for you to know that you have some spirit guides that are around you in the mental realm, in the emotional realm, in the physical realm, yes, in the physical realm, and in the spiritual realm. At this point in time, you are receiving a lot of information and downloads pertaining to where it is you are meant to go next. And it might be adjacent to what you're told your heart desires, but it might be something that's leading you there down an unexpected path. For example, releasing something that you think that you need first. When you are being called to shoot for the vision instead of the next step on the path. Because... If you, you are being called to make your own path, but you are being called to intuitively wing it a little bit. Now, Krishna wants you to know that there is a greater plan that you are following. It just is not something that your mind is logically putting together right now based upon the options that you see, based upon the data you've collected in your physical life, based upon the people around you, which makes sense if you're making your own path. Trust that there is bigger, better, larger, more available out there for you that you're going to love, that you're going to see shining bright like the stars in the sky. Krishna would like to remind you that the universe is infinite and ever expanding, so of course there's enough for you. Of course there is room for you to grow, of course there's room for everyone to grow. Krishna would like for you to take up more space mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, especially spiritually. There are some ways where you may feel as though you are shrinking yourself a little bit where you used to be in your power. And when you recognize this, you stand back into the shoes that you already fit and you notice that at this point in time things begin to get activated for your further path for your spiritual guidance and for the next chapter of your life krishna wants you to know that your spiritual prowess goes seen and noticed in the spiritual realm and you may feel as though it goes unnoticed unseen in the physical realm krishna would like for you to divert your attention away from the things that make you feel like this because this is not really truly the case. It is what you are looking at and focusing on, not what is actually the reality. Remember that when you change the way you see things, the things that you see change. Another way to put this that is similar but means something a little bit different, when you change the things that you look at, the things you're looking at change. Is the gla glass half full? Is it half empty? Either way, it should be overflowing. This is the cup of emotions in your heart. Your cup deserves to be overfilled, overflowing. And so, Krishna would like to remind you that while the realist might say the cup has liquid in it, the realist is the most out of touch with reality. So, group number one. Krishna would like to remind you that there are some things about you and about the next step in your path that are going to be odd. They're going to be odd pertaining to your status quo, pertaining to what you see around you, pertaining to little tiny shifts that you notice are making a difference, but that might not make rational sense to you, or perhaps because you have this larger vision in mind, they make sense to you, but they start to shift things slowly on the daily basis. Krishna would like to let you know that you are being led towards what it is that your heart and your soul desire. Leave your mind out of it. Remember that your mind is meant to be under your control, not the other way around. And as much as you can be consciously aware of this, do remember as well that you are not your mind. So as you do not wish to be controlled by something outside of you, do not be controlled by your mind as this is not who you are either. Do not be controlled by your body, your bodily impulses as this is not who you are either. You are not your body, you are not your mind, you are not your emotions. However, you are spirit. And while it is important to recognize that things do occur during the natural processes of your emotions, of your mind, of your bodily urges, these are meant to come to your awareness so that you can upscale them, you can level them up to where you deserve them to be. And so, 
By following what your mind is telling you is rational, especially pertaining to this larger vision that has been given to you, that is, as you know, not a creation of your own mind. This is supported by the divine. Trust that attention will be on you. Things are going to shift. A lot of energy is coming into you, large, quickly, a large quantity of it. Quantity and quality of energy are coming in like a flood. The floodgates are opening. And so Krishna would like to let you know, Krishna would like to remind you that when it feels like the floodgates are opening and you are wondering when and how to hold your breath, remember simply that you can be a fish. Also, Vishnu is making an appearance in your reading, which is a manifestation of Krishnu in a belief system. And Vishnu is sometimes represented by the fish and also rules air, the air element. So we have here this connection of the air and the water elements here, allowing you to remind yourself that you can breathe and perhaps to allow yourself to breathe through your emotions. There's also an illusion coming through here to make sure that you're stretching out your glutes or doing some energy releasing in your buttocks and your hips. So group number one, let's see messages to you from Krishna. Krishna would like for you to focus upon a few energies here that will help you with the adjustment period and help you align with your path. Not that you are disaligned from your path, but will help you get a few steps under your belt so you feel a bit more comfortable. So let's see with the light codes here. Energies Krishna would like to draw to your attention that will help ease your path. Okay, so we have for you throat activation and earth star. So we actually have two chakras coming out. Obviously, there are more than just the chakras in this deck. So paying attention to your earth star chakra, the chakra below your root chakra, the one that connects you inside the earth, connecting with inner earth as well for some of you, and throat activation, your expression of truth for some of you, your etheric template, the realm right outside the astral realm, your crystalline blueprint, but directly your throat activation. So your listening, your speaking, your communication, the quantity and quality of your communication, the quantity and quality of your connection to earth, both things that have come out in this reading. So let's pay attention to the light codes here, just so that we can have them attuning the energy for the rest of your reading. And let's pull a little more information, messages from Krishna about the earth star chakra here pertaining to your path. Okay, this is my tiny tarot here. As you can see, we have the elements. So we have the queen of wands coming out twice in your reading, okay? So connecting with the earth will be a spiritual experience for you. So allow yourself to take the time to do this. You'll be able to find your next steps by watching the cycles of nature. We have queen of wands and six of wands. Yes, connecting with inner earth or connecting with the energies, not on the surface of the ground, but beneath the ground, things like root systems, things like mycelium, things like inner earth, agartha, energies like this, are going to actually be very helpful for you to find your path. Looking at the systems that occur within the earth, microscopically, and perhaps some of the ones that we don't necessarily see on or above the surface. So when you see a tree and it's really calling to you, instead of perhaps looking up, at its branches, look down at its roots, spending some time with the roots, spending some time with the mycelium, spending some time with the perhaps ants, taking a look at systems that are occurring below your feet, not just where your feet are touching. This will bring success towards you. I'm getting quickly, very quickly. So when you need an answer pert pertaining to your path or your next steps, go outside barefoot, see what you're called to and look down, tap in with that energy. Messages from Krishna pertaining to your throat. Seven of Cups. Okay. There are a lot of things that you have to express. Okay. Some of them are spiritual. Some of them are about your story. Some of them are about your narrative. Some of them are about what you're learning or what you have learned. Some of them are your opinions. Some of them are what you have in your mind, your emotions. You understand. Seven of Cups and Three of Pentacles. Okay. Pertaining to your throat chakra, Krishna would like for you to trust that the things that you say, when you might feel as though you are just speaking, trust that the words coming through your mouth and the things that you're listening as well are divinely intentional as well. Krishna would like to remind you that 
While you feel as though you are restricted in communicating certain things or that you should restrict yourself more in communicating others, remember that everything is occurring perfectly. Don't forget that your voice is also a divine channel, a channel, a vessel for the divine. So sometimes you might feel as though, why did I just say that? Or why do I keep talking about this? Or I really want to talk about something. Everything happens in divine timing. You are blessing ears that need to be blessed with the things that you have to say. For you, remember that your communication is sometimes for you and sometimes not for you. And so, again, sometimes what your mind is thinking should be the case is not always what is needed. It's not always what is the divine plan. And so, if you are noticing that you have word vomit or certain things start coming up and you're like, why do I keep talking about this? Why does it keep coming up? It might not be for you. Your voice might be used to bless ears. Alternatively, when it comes to the things that you're listening, if you feel like you want to block them out, remember that there are a lot of different options that you have pertaining to how you can build upon the conversation. For example, if someone is looking at a cup and they say, oh, there's a cup, it has liquid in it, and you are saying, oh yes, and the liquid appears to be half full. This is one option. As opposed to, oh, I don't like the kind of liquid that's in there, or that cup could be cuter, or simply, the glass is half empty. So, taking a look at these things, the way that you are directing these energies, the way you are building upon the energies that you are hearing, not from your mind, but again, remembering that what comes out is a divine channel. So allow yourself, if need be, to take some time to tap in and allow what comes through still to be natural and organic rather than a product of your mind. So, you'll notice that this occurs naturally anyway, but with your throat chakra, taking a look at the different options that you actually have, in your communication can change and transmute some of the energies that are being directed at you. Remember that sometimes when you listen, it is for you, but when you speak, it is not. So just like your heart chakra, when you speak, you are giving a gift. And when you listen, you are receiving one. So let's see messages to group number one from Krishna, from my mini oracle here. What last energies would Krishna like for you to focus on? Last messages from Krishna about the spiritual journey of group number one, please. Messages about the spiritual journey of group number one, heightened awareness. My love, you are so extraordinarily aware. Your senses have been heightened greatly. Your sensitivity has also heightened. You may feel overstimulated or understimulated in certain settings. You may feel drawn to, non-negotiably drawn towards certain things, certain, certain behaviors, certain energies, certain places, etc. Allow yourself to follow these, and at the same time with this heightened awareness, trust that this is all part of the larger plan. Just as when you get a little sensitive after you exfoliate your skin, for example, the skin barrier continues to grow back, simply healthier. Allow the turning over of your cells to be heightened in awareness. But with this being the case, trust that this is for your highest good. And it is not for you to be extra sensitive and to numb this out. It is for you to grow through it to the other side of it so that this is your new normal. You're building a foundation here spiritually. And again, be optimistic. Krishna would like to remind you that optimism is always the more realistic choice i'm hearing be realistic expect a miracle as you and has come up in this reading again you are so much more than your sacral experience you are so much more than your mental experience and you are so much more than your bodily experience so with all of these being the case trust that if something needs clearing up or navigating remember what are you saying to it be optimistic steer in an optimistic direction, and this will never ever steer you wrong. Are you looking for possibility or are you dismissing an opportunity in front of your face? Krishna would like to remind you, last but not least, group number one, that your daily routine and organization is being shifted right now. So to allow yourself to do the forms of alchemy that help you adjust, but not necessarily get you back to where you were or where you're thinking you're meant to be. Focus instead on unconditional love and remember that it is in giving that we receive. If you would like to receive more or of a higher quality, give more or of a higher quality. 
If you would like to give more or of a higher quality, allow yourself to receive more or of a higher quality. These two things, of course, always work in tandem. They're also connected with the heart chakra, as is unconditional love. And so allow yourself to blossom into higher levels of experience and consciousness, allowing yourself to work through the earth and trusting that your throat is a gift. What comes out of your mouth, your communication, it is a gift. It is not just for sacral expression, it is for a divine channel as well. Allow the energies at this point in time to come up your spine and then down through your crown, out your throat. Allow your kundalini to be what speaks through you. If it must come up from your sacral or up from your root, up from your solar plexus or your heart, allow it to traverse up the spine and out your mouth. Remember what you receive, what you hear is a gift to you and what you communicate is a gift to others. This is the largest message that wants to come out. This and to trust in the divine organization that is occurring wholesome and at a large quantity. Remember, you have a lot of energies coming in and you are called to shift little bits and pieces every day. You might not always see why, but you see the larger vision. While you can backtrack and see why, it might not always be the reason that you have in your brain. So allow yourself to release that narrative and be open to what is coming towards you and open to what you are being called to do. Receive openly. This is a gift to you. Make your own path and remember that you're not alone in making it. It is not the creation of your mind. It is the creation of spirit through you and it will lead you towards what you want and desire. Continue to release the emotional and mental want and desire that you think you need to get there because that will only procrastinate your path. Not that it is impossible, but that it is possible, just not in the ways that you are currently aware of. Group number one, this is your channeled message from Krishna. I hope this helps shed love, light, and clarity for you. And as always, I hope you have an amazing rest of your day, week, month, year, and incarnation in this beautiful magical realm. If you're interested in a personal reading, channeling session, astrology, or Reiki session with me, or any of my tarot and oracle decks I used in this reading, journals, books, crystals, etc. You can find all of that on my store and that will be located on my Etsy shop in the description box. Thank you so very much for being here. I love you. I'm grateful for you and I'll see you next time. Namaste. Hi there group two. Namaste and welcome to your reading. Today I'm channeling a message to you from Krishna and you selected the second group with the exploring patience card. Krishna would like to let you know that you only have to be patient for a little while longer. Things are going to work out according to plan and a bit better. And they are going to occur on time. <laughs> and although it might not be your definition of what would make you the most comfortable, it will be on time in the ways that you structurally need. Krishna would like to remind you to go slow, be patient with yourself, and to work on crossing the T's, dotting the I's around you at this point in time. Some of you are being called to journal a little bit, do something a little bit extra, such as open up a gratitude journal or do a past life regression. Some of you are being called to do things such as cleaning up the baseboards in your house, getting rid of spare items in your closet or your junk drawer, or for others of you, just getting around to some of those things that you have been putting off, like tearing up the carpet or gluing something together. Now, Krishna would like to let you know that right now you are standing out and you have been patient for a very long time. When you stand out, sometimes people will come and they will surround you, they will look at you. And other times when you're different, they will walk away. It is the very same thing that draws people that is also the thing that repels people. Your authenticity, your connection to the divine, and your unmovable nature. This does not mean you are not flexible. It means that when it comes to principles, when it comes to your morals, when it comes to your devotion to the divine and yourself, you are unmovable. Meaning that you will never learn the same lesson twice. Krishna would like to let you know that you are right now exploring patience. You are not learning patience. You are not asking for patience. You are not being given 
patience. Rather, you are exploring it like a friend or a park that you have frequented before. Let's get into the cards to see messages, please, to group number two from Krishna. This is my Follow Your Heart deck. We're pulling now from the graphic tarot. All the decks that I'm using in this reading are available on my store, as always. Messages, please, from Krishna to group number two. Ah, group number two. You are being asked to surrender in a beautiful way, but it might be one that asks for your flexibility. It asks for your flexibility pertaining to your due diligence with your internal realm. Meaning, if you know that you will not budge in certain ways because you've learned not to, not because you are inflexible or immovable, but say you will meditate every morning and every night and that is unmovable. Say you will pray, you will do your breath work, you will do your yoga twice a week, whatever it is that you are doing, you will eat healthy, you will do your skincare. There are things that are in your benefit that are unmovable because you've grown into them. While you are currently patient, and you have been more patient than this in the past, you are being encouraged and blessed right now to just strengthen that muscle a little bit. Krishna would like to let you know that, as you know, internal beauty affects your external beauty. By, in, by beautifying the inside, you also beautify the outside. But in beautifying the outside, it doesn't necessarily do the same. While it can, it is a slower, more tumultuous, and longer process, which is why you are being called at this point in time to enjoy the steadfastness of your internal nature. We do have the patience card with the hanged man, which can also be a card of waiting, but trust that you have already woven something. It is simply time. They're showing me a spider building a web, waiting for the fly to approach the web. The spider doesn't go get the fly, doesn't bring the fly into the web. It simply waits for the fly to fly right into it. The spider may experience hunger. The spider may need to exercise patience, but the, every spider does this and has for a long time because it has actually been the most beneficial way for them to ease that hunger, to fulfill that need. So while it might require patience, it is the tried and true way. And you are being encouraged by Krishna, group number two, to practice the same. Now I actually have a little spider friend on my desk that is seemingly defying gravity right now by climbing on the side of my desk. We have the 10 of wands in reverse, letting me know that there is something here around you where you're going to be seemingly defying gravity and krishna would like to let you know that everything is not an uphill battle and it doesn't need to be and with the ten of cups here we have this coming in to replace a burden that you've been carrying you're being encouraged to let that internal energy that core energy that core health permeate externally krishna wants you to know group number two that you know where you're headed and you're following the correct path because this is unique to you it's going to ask you to utilize some of those muscles some of that flexibility that you've needed to acquire as tools over this time these are actually going to help you get further than you thought and they're also going to help you increase in your abundance but of course internally first krishna would like for you to know that it is time that you are leveraging your skills for your own use. As much as you love to care for others and put others first, it is also important that you take care of you, and that is unmoving. Krishna wants to draw attention to the point between your eyebrows and some of the things that you have been experiencing or what it is you have been striving for, experiencing, or seeking in your meditations. 
Krishna would like for you to meet him here because he has a message for you that will help to release your burdens. Krishna would like to let you know that at this point in time, your crown chakra is opening and it is, it is ascending. It is strengthening. And so while you may feel a little bit as though the surroundings around you might be questioning your faith, they might be testing your faith, remember above all that faith is a muscle to be strengthened and that patience is as well. Krishna is aware that you are very patient and very conscious. But there are certain things in your life that while waiting, you may seek to busy yourself in taking care of others. You may seek to busy yourself by tending to things that are not your responsibility here on this earth. This will lead to confusion. It will lead to you absorbing the problems, the energies, the karmas of others that do not belong to you. And these will be things that perhaps affect your confidence, affect your patience, affect your faith, affect your happiness, affect your peace. And while you are strengthening the muscle to allow yourself to be steadfast in these energies in the core despite your external situations, this is what you're learning right now. But also, do not go so far as to seek overuse of these energies, overuse of the strengthening of these muscles. This will come with time and with patience. And remember that every day on your journey, your physical journey, your spiritual journey, your mental, emotional, financial, verbal, intellectual journey, it is a practice, not a perfection. The way to perfection is practice and only through trying can one succeed. Krishna would like to let you know that when things are cleared from your plate, allow yourself to be soft when you feel soft, and when it's time to strengthen, allow yourself to strengthen. But when something is cleared off your plate and you feel soft, honor this instead of saying that there is room for something else now and magnetizing it in. You are right now creating space and when you have the space, you may be seeking for something to do, something to be, something to become, something to learn. Rather, enjoy the in-between. Enjoy the space. Enjoy the suspension. Enjoy the feelings. Enjoy the clutter. And when the clutter is drawn to your awareness, simply take care of the things that are taking care of you. Allow yourself to continue to take more things off your plate until simply the divine is left. Now there will be things that come up. Well, you're in a physical life. You have physical responsibilities. You are transmuting the energy right now of subtle particles. You are transmuting the energy of your relationship with your physical life. So be patient. At this point in time, things are changing, so continue to take things off your plate. This is not for you to be lazy. It is not for you to neglect your responsibilities. Rather, it is for you to see the things that are distracting your mind from that point that is. Again, there's an awareness coming to your meditations, your spiritual space, and finding what it means to be patient. It's really to be still. It's to be at peace. It's to not be affected by that which is around you, simply by that which is within. And the more at peace you find within, the less your external situations will affect you. When you begin to respond to the situations outside of you, rather than allowing them to respond to you, you are allowing yourself to step into divine surrender in these areas of life that you are seeking assistance. And Krishna would also like to assure you that you will reach your definition of success. Now let's see what energies Krishna would like to draw to your awareness 
in assistance with this energy. What energies would Krishna like to draw to group number two's awareness for these energies? Okay, Kundalini activation, perfection here. Pay attention to the energy in your spine. Yes, your vertebrae. Yes, your spinal flexibility. Yes, your spinal strength. The space between your vertebrae, the spinal fluid, the kundalini. God lives in the spine, is what Paramahansa Yogananda says. And allow your kundalini to awaken. Perhaps take a look at your nervous system and function through this perspective of self, this to universe or source or God, back to you. Allow your experience with the universe to become more and more personal and allow your kundalini to attune and awaken. Affirm with yourself, universe, God, source, place, energy here and then have faith that your request has been heard and attended to. I'm hearing a parable or a story that I once heard. There was a devotee or a very spiritual person who was met with an angel and they were meditating and meditating and praying and praying and they were just waiting for the day that that spiritual gift would break, that they would reach that big break. There was also a very imperfect person who was not living in a home and was having a difficult time getting their life together and wasn't really focused on it, but had unshakable faith. And the angel approached him too. Now, both made a request and the angel responded to both. Your request will be granted when God has finished passing an elephant through the eye of a needle. Now the devotee said back to the angel, well, surely an elephant can't fit through the eye of a needle, but it's God, so I'll be patient and I'll wait. And when I see this occur, or when I get news this has occurred, then I will know that my blessing is on its way and I shall wait patiently. Now, with the same response, the imperfect person says to the angel, oh my goodness, it's amazing, God answered my prayer because surely it's God, all things are possible. Meaning that surely by the time that it even took me to comprehend what you are saying, God has passed billions of elephants through billions of needles because everything is possible. Thank you for answering my prayer. I feel it is already within, it is already here. And so you see who is blessed and exalted. So Krishna would like to ask you, group number two, to embody and incorporate a bit of this energy of the imperfect person into your life pertaining to faith and this doesn't have to be god it can be source it can be universe it doesn't have to be so um so much of a parable so to speak but hopefully this energy this kundalini awakening and this cracking open of the crown not because it has not been open but because it is ascending because your muscles are strengthening your spiritual muscles are strengthening trust that what you want what you seek are you being patient yes but it has already been decided it is already on its way it is not for you to do it is for you to respond and respond by praising that it has already been done not because you're trying to hijinks the energy of the universe to manifest and get what you want but because you're taking things off your plate. And the less that's on your plate, the less you want on your plate because life gets more simple. You become more at peace. The more in connection with divine you are. And the more in connection with divine you are, the more abundant you are, the more all has already been perfected. So allow yourself to release, ascend, solidify. So let's see what messages. Oh, one more energy wants to attune here. We wanted to spend a little time on the Kundalini. Let's see, what other energy would Krishna like for you to attune to? So yes, paying extra attention to your Kundalini at this time. 
This is the Light Code Oracle, so the Light Codes can help you to attune to particular frequencies. It's like sound healing, but visual. You can download frequencies and information from these pertaining to your own field. Okay. Krishna, what energies would you like? Okay. Mintaka. Interesting. I did just post um, Mintaka a while ago if you're interested in those channeled messages. Take a look at the spiritual waters within. How close are you to divine consciousness, cosmic consciousness, and how close are you to body consciousness, individual consciousness? Watch these waves ebb and flow and always pay attention to which direction you are facing. Are you looking out at the vast sea, the vast ocean of cosmic consciousness, or are you facing the shore waiting to touch the sand? Simply paying attention, drawing awareness to this, will help you understand a bit more about where you're at on your journey and will help you to gain different kinds of perspectives on your spiritual experience. So, if we can clarify using the Tiny Tarot, our Kundalini card here, we have Queen of Swords coming out and King of Pentacles coming out in reverse. At this point in time, trust your intuitive guidance and worry less about what you can do, where you can invest, spending your money. Now is not a time to, for example, buy more clothes or now is not a time to fill up your cabinet with non-perishable goods. Now is the time to listen to your intuition and allow the resources to ebb and flow through you. Your plate is getting cleared of the things that are burdening you. This does not mean it will not be replaced with a higher vibrational version or with the version that is best for you. Follow your intuition. Release when you're called to release. Receive when you're called to receive. And have patience in the restructuring along the way. Can we clarify the Mintaka card, please? Krishna, can you clarify? Why don't you brought out the Mintaka card for group number two? Because I'm hearing because in a sense, everything is extraterrestrial. And at the same time, nothing really is. Okay. Messages from Krishna pertaining to the Mintaka light code. Cross the T's and dot the I's. Okay. If divine is ordering, we've got the tower and Mintaka. They're showing me destruction of Mintaka. We've got the queen and the king. Okay. If your destruction or the destruction of something in your life is being ordered, do not look at this chaos and try to grasp at it and put it back together. Rather, allow it to fall and get released off your plate and allow something new to come in. Follow this guidance. Things are being shifted for you at this time. Anything else pertaining to the Mintaka card? If destruction is ordered, do not lead into the chaos. Thank yourself. Thank the universe for taking one more thing off your plate. See this perspective. Anything else? Okay. Got a book coming out here, Six of Cups. Okay. Okay, yeah. Do not worry at this time about the stories or the past. Allow yourself to release stories of the past at this point in time and focus on the day to day. Okay, focus on your devotion, focus on your loyalty to yourself and to the divine. Where is your priority? Where is your focus? When all things are off your plate, when your back is up against a wall, when all things are off your plate, where are you? You might want to look into the idea of Dharma if you have not before. Um, I'm feeling called to just look at these cards a little bit. So we have a message coming through for you, group number two. You're going to be reaching solid ground and it's not going to be for you to do anything. So you might be waiting for a door to open and that's what you need to do. Wait for the door to open. There's something here that you are seeing as a bad omen or bad luck or something that's messing up your energy or messing things up around you. This is divine destruction. This is Maheshvara, okay? This is intentional allow this to be the case you have more options than what you're seeing and when you think about this it means exactly the opposite of what it is that you are thinking about right now there is a way for something around you to work out and it's actually in your best interest because it's got the potential to be more reciprocal than you are currently giving it credit for we have four sixes coming out for you so this is intentional this is very very intentional 
um, 24 hours, you will notice that things are going to change for you. And there's going to be some sort of confusion or stress that is going to be alleviated within the next 24 hours. And it's going to give you better clarity about your stability. So in the meanwhile, do not allow the stress to create more chaos. Allow yourself to respond to the chaos and continue to take things off your plate. Allow the universe to take things off your plate. And in the meanwhile, get that one dish that's in your sink. In the meanwhile, clean up those baseboards. In the meanwhile, be patient, be slow, be intentional. Do not try to force. Allow yourself to observe what is shifting and changing. Go inside and allow yourself to continue that beautification process internally. Now, closing out here, messages to group number two from Krishna using the mini oracle. What would you like group number two to focus on during this time? What would you like group number two to focus on during this time? Messages from Krishna to group number two. Unseen factors and inner world. Okay. Do not look for the unseen in your inner world. Do not look for the unseen in your inner world. Allow your inner world to be your focus. And that which is unseen will be before your eyes when things are finished turning over. At this point in time, remember that you deserve good things. You deserve the best. Remind yourself that you are worthy of good things. You are beautiful. You are innocent. You are pure. You are divine. You are all things good. All things deserving. Krishna would like to remind you of the story of the imperfect man. And remember, the way that you feel about yourself is really important. So if it's coming up right now, allow yourself to dive into your internal world. And instead of focusing on the imperfection, focus on the beauty. Focus on the beauty of you. Focus on the beauty of gratitude. Again, in the beginning of your reading, keeping a gratitude journal. I do have journals available on my store if you're interested in that. We have abundance and clarity. Um, I'm hearing guided self-exploration journal. This is a guided journal with over 200 questions in it for you if you're interested in getting to know yourself a little better, diving a little deeper. Abundance and clarity. You're going to have clarity pertaining to your abundance, pertaining to whatever this is that you're trying to manifest, you're trying to bring in, whatever you feel like you need. Right now, remember, you are utilizing a muscle that you've already strengthened, but maybe haven't accessed in a while. So you might feel a little sore, so to speak, energetically. Remember to focus on your internal self. Remember to pay attention to your emotions pertaining to abundance in all forms right now. Practice your gratitude. Look back at the last time you got what you wanted or you got what you needed by practicing gratitude, faith, and patience. Allow this energy to be refreshed within you and renewed because it is important. This is the energy you're being called to step in because this paradigm is similar. The pattern is not the same, but within 24 hours, you will have the clarity that you seek and you will have what you need. So when you go inside, do not focus on, do not focus on the things that are being taken off your plate because you feel like you need them there. Focus on the plate itself, or even further than that, the energy that is holding the plate or providing it to you. Group number two, this was your channeled message from Krishna. I hope this helps shed love, light, and clarity for you. And as always, I hope you have an amazing rest of your day, week, month, year, and incarnation in this beautiful magical realm. You've got this a little further. You're almost there. I love you. I'm grateful for you. If you're interested in any of the decks used in today's reading, journals to supplement your practice, as well as books, other tarot and oracle decks I've made, crystals, etc. You can find all of that along with fun spiritual tools and merchandise in my store, which you can find in the description box, which is over on Etsy. So thank you so much for being here. I love you. I'm grateful for you. And I'll see you next time. Namaste. Hi there, group three. Namaste and welcome to your reading. Today I'm channeling a message to you from Krishna and you selected the third group with the expect the unexpected card. Group number three, you can take this card quite literally is the first message that's coming through. Krishna would like for you to know that there are many miraculous events that are on their way for you and you are re-normalizing into an energy that you had just gotten comfortable with before things had kind of begun to ebb and flow. You were aware that you would be building on top of this energy, that it would be your new foundation. However, what you were also aware of is that this was a sneak peek of the future. 
So while this energy appeared to wash out and in of your life, Krishna would like to let you know that it is coming back in and this time is here to stay. Now with the Expect the Unexpected card, this does not pertain to this energy coming in. It pertains to what is being built on top of this energy coming in. Many of you have recently received messages, visions, dreams about what is on its way for you, many of which seem symbolic or grandiose. Group number three, Krishna would like for you to know that with the divine, all things are possible. And with faith, all things can become divine. Krishna would like to remind you that you can let go and let the universe take care of things for you. But things are going to be progressing quite quickly. Sometimes, instead of trying to keep up with the speed on the treadmill when you initially step on it, instead of trying to hit the ground running at a speed that might be too fast for your body to keep up with, it might actually benefit you to be an observer to the treadmill. What this means is that you do not always need to be on top of it going step for step with the speed that things are progressing in in your life. It is okay for things to shift and change quickly, rapidly, and in a large way, and for you to take your time catching up. Remember to devote yourself to your self-care and your self-love and your care and love towards the divine, the universe, your spiritual connection, God, however it is that you, <laughs> spiritual, <laughs> group number three. There are some things that are turning in your favor, and there are some things that you do sometimes or that you have seen before that are coming back around. You are beginning to realize that when this comes back around, it is a positive omen, it is a good sign, and something is a bigger deal than you are thinking that it is. You are beginning to draw this to your awareness, but Krishna would like to let you know that your expression of energy is unique. Your beauty is internal and also external. And because of this, you are a magnetic portal. As you have chosen to be a vessel for the divine rather than a magnetic portal, sometimes you experience an extra friction of push and pull in your energy. You are naturally magnetic and you also allow the divine to act through you. These energies are tempering out in your magnetic field, the electromagnetic field, and you are, once again, going to become more magnetic than you've ever been in your life up until this point. Continue to be confident in yourself with the Divine's plan for you, and allow yourself not to worry about going step for step with the changes that are occurring in your life. You will, but sometimes, seeing what works for you, rather than how you can make something work, will allow you to rather do less for larger results. I'm hearing the 80-20 rule, which is where 20% of your results or 20% of your efforts yield 80% of your results. This is something that you can expect to be showing up in your life around this point in time. And so trying to go step per step with every single with with 100% of the things that are going on in your life right now might actually cause you to put more on your plate than necessary and not necessarily see as clearly what you can remove when it's time to. Rather, allowing the treadmill to go on its own, observe it, notice the changes, and from this point in time, center yourself and do what needs to be done, not what you think you should be doing to ameliorate or better the situation. Do expect the unexpected. Large things are coming in quickly. They're going to be beautiful after a lot of deep cleansing work primarily pertaining to your root and sacral chakras. Your confidence has become a topic lately, and this is how you know that this root and sacral journey has come to a close at this chapter, in this point in time, at this level, anyway. So, let's get into your cards, and let's see messages, please, to group number three from Krishna. We've got my Follow Your Heart Oracle deck. You guys know we're using the graphic tarot today. All of the decks that we're using in this reading are available on my store you can find in the description box below as always and personal channeling sessions reiki astrology etc krishna would like for you to know that oh the path ahead for you has already been chosen and it is one that you're going to enjoy however because it's one that is through you not necessarily by you you may feel as though there are certain things that you want to change and this is natural this is normal you are a master of receiving the unexpected. You are also a master of listening to your intuition. You're also a master of deciding you're going to do something and getting it done successfully. And 
overachieving your own expectations for yourself. However, Krishna would like to let you, remind you to let the divine do this for you sometimes too. Sometimes you have experienced the divine coming in through grand faith of yours, but the divine comes in to save the day. What if the divine now comes in not only to save the day, so to speak, but to actually bless you in ways that are currently unimaginable to you? Expect the unexpected. Something around you has been transforming as you have intuitively known that it would. And so allow the path ahead for you to be larger and more transformative and more beautiful than you have been expecting it to. You are aware that there's a choice that has been showing up in your mind recently and that the rational thing to do is not necessarily what your intuition has been telling you to do. This is how you know you have hit the gold. Krishna would like to remind you that you are placed in exactly where you're meant to be. I would like to draw attention to the fact we have queen and then king of cups, one pair. And then we have the empress, the emperor, one perfect pair. We have this leveling up side by side of either your masculine and feminine energies or of you and a situation in your life. We have a parallel growth in a same magnitude. So this is showing up as well. We have 22, 33, we have this transmutation energy and the card of transmutation with the expect the unexpected card and the magnetic energy coming in as well so group number three krishna would like you to know that pertaining to all things beautiful in your life you deserve to receive not just what it is that you have been able to give not just tit for tat for example if you give a smile you receive a smile for example if you donate you receive that amount in finance if you for example donate clothes and you get some clothes not just this if you do good deeds for example if you feed the humans and the animals that are around you you deserve blessings that make your life more beautiful and better not just exactly that whether or not you need it and this is something that has been breaking free you are one that gives care not in the ways that you want to care for others rather in the ways that those others need care this is the difference between unconditional and selfless love versus conditional and selfish love you can love and care for something in the way you want to love and care for something. Or you can love and care for something in the way that something needs to be loved and cared for. And the divine is now taking you under its wing and doing the same for you. Krishna would like for you to know, group number three, that something is coming in to make a grand announcement in your life, so to speak. This is going to be something that I'm, I'm being shown like a billboard. So this can be a billboard that you see that changes your thinking. This can be your song going up on the billboard charts. This can be hitting a number or a statistic or making a list or something like this. But Krishna would like you to expect the unexpected, but it's something that's on your wish list. Something that you don't know how it would happen. Something that you don't have a plan to get there, but it's still on your wish list. And it's not because your ego created it. It's because the divine put it in your mind. And I'm hearing the clocks ticking for something as well. And so this is something where you might expect that you've needed to release this because of the timeline associated with it in your mind or in reality. Krishna is saying exactly because detachment is how you follow through with something energetically. Therefore, as you notice that the energies of your electromagnetic field are pushing and pulling because you are a vessel, you are doing, you are caring, you are loving, you are also magnetic because you exude divine energy. And because you exude divine energy, there is something beautiful coming in. You have transformed. You are coming out of this cocoon. You are allowing yourself to spread your wings. And as things are balancing out and getting back to where they belong, you are noticing that you have brought along with you a stray. This can be a person. It can be an animal. It can be an energy. It can be a vibe. It can be a thought. It can be an idea. It can be something in your subconscious. But you are bringing something along with you. You have brought something with you in the subconscious, a stowaway astray and this is going to be what has made the difference group number three let's take a look at what energies krishna would like to help attune you to pertaining to this transformation or this blessing that's coming in for you this unexpected miracle coming in using the light codes oracle what energies krishna would you like to draw to group number three's no, not awareness. What would you like to attune them to? Or what have you been attuning them to? Okay, what have you been attuning them to? Always listen. You know. Krishna, what have you been 
helping group number three attune to in their vibrational field energetically. Krishna, what have you been helping group three attune to? Where are you attuning group three to? What would you like group three to attune to, Krishna? Okay, we have some things literally turning on their head. And so be an observer of these energies. We have two cards that want to come out but don't quite make it. Okay. So there are two things in your life that are not quite going to make the cut. Okay. Or there are two things in your life that are not quite cutting it. Okay. Or you will realize soon that they are not able to come along the rest of the journey with you. Two things. Pertaining to the heart and the sacral. We have body awareness coming out for you. Here's the light code. So for some of you, allowing yourself to tap in with your body awareness, um, seeing where, I'm hearing this song um, by Trevor Hall, In and Through the Body, it is Blue Sky Mind by Trevor Hall. It talks about how everything that you need is in and through the body. All of the messages that you seek, all of the energies that you're trying to process, all of the things you're trying to attune to are in and through the body. In source, gratitude. Krishna would like for you to continue to keep your focus on the divine and to continue to remind yourself why you're grateful. And I'm hearing the song Gratitude by Landrell. Beautiful song. Your body gives you information about what the divine is trying to tell you. And the divine has encoded the next steps of your journey in your physical body. So at this point in time, because you are not focused on your physical sensations about what gives your ego and your body pleasure, you are rather focused on what your body is asking for you, what the divine is asking for you through your body. You can find these answers coded and mapped within your body. Seeing the perspective from the divine and the way that it's, the way that it's resulting in your body, allowing yourself to move your body in ways that the divine is drawing you to. Intuitive dancing, for some of you, can be significant. Um, ecstatic dancing, intuitive flows, things like this that are entirely intuitive. Not necessarily about what you think you need or trying to make gains in a particular area or even doing what your body is finding pleasurable, doing what is intuitive to you, moving in those ways. Because you might find yourself learning more about the way the body works and you might find yourself learning more about why you are feeling called towards certain things in your body and I'm getting to remind you that when you move intuitively it will not it will not dismiss the things that your body is finding pleasurable it just will not lean into them creating further imbalance it will also open up things to you that you did not know you were seeking similarly to following your intuition in other areas of life so Krishna using the tiny tarot today tell us about the body card we've got the four of wands something pertaining to your body your body awareness or your knowledge of things like perhaps kinesiology yoga pilates um biomedical science dental health i don't know something here ayurveda chinese medicine something pertaining to your knowledge of the body is going to bring you to success here because you have to learn certain things through experience not just rational intellectual knowledge however when you learn something through experience, you have to gain that knowledge in order to be fully um, complete in this area. And if you learn something through knowledge, you have to experience it to be fully complete. It's two sides of the same coin. We have, you are ready to teach something that you are quite humble about coming through or that you've taught before, okay? A journey that you've been on. We have the Ace of Wands pertaining to source and gratitude. All right, you... You have been on a, an awakening journey for quite a while, group number three, and Krishna would like to let you know that this is not close to coming to an end. In fact, expect a new beginning spiritually for you. Yes, the one that you've been shy about starting. There's, again, this energy of confidence coming through, so allowing yourself to kind of um, expand your solar plexus or expand the core of your solar plexus to just remind yourself that it's okay to be confident in the areas of life that are new or that you're feeling called towards and maybe a little bit shy about. We've got the Three of Cups. Remember that you're not alone, okay? This came out right here underneath the Heart Chakra and the Body Awareness card. But 
it belongs next to the source gratitude card. So remind yourself at this point in time, okay, that you are not alone on this journey. Remind yourself that sometimes energetically you can transform what it is that you're seeking physically and vice versa as well. And also, there's something or someone around you that is mirroring you in a surprising way. Remember we had this queen to king of cups, this empress to emperor energy, okay? We have this balance within you. There's something around you, someone or something around you, three of cups, likely a person that is wanting to celebrate you and is also in some way able to go step per step with you. We've got 333 coming out, but we're only seeing a 33. You're seeing the mastery, but you're not seeing the completion and the grounding of what the results of that mastery have been. You're focused on the mastery in order to retain that mastery and expand it. But if you open up your perspective a little bit more, you'll be able to see that you can retain and expand that mastery, but also see the results of that mastery that are kind of reinforcing that within you, hitting your solar plexus and that confidence. So Krishna would like to let you know this. We've got Ten of Cups at the back of the deck. Just a beautiful energy coming in to say, expect all things to go well for you and expect yourself to be emotionally fulfilled and spiritually fulfilled with these things as well. Continue to follow your intuition. We've got a miracle awaits just fell literally onto my heart chakra while I was picking up my mini oracle. So let's see. To close out the reading, messages from Krishna to group number three. What would you like them to... Let's see, what... What would you like to draw to their awareness? What would you like to draw to group number three's awareness? The questions for this reading have been a little different for each group. So remember, always listen. Oh, listening intuitively is always better than a structure. A structure will get you there when you are opening up the intuition, but the intuition will be what gives you the structure that you need. It will never be the same exact thing. Two days are never exactly the same. Two transits are never exactly the same. Two portals are never exactly the same. Two emotions are never exactly the same. The pattern might look the same, but there will always be an individual aspect. Every single thing is a snowflake. Every single day is a snowflake. Every single transit, even if it comes once a year, is a snowflake as well. Never forget these things, okay? Krishna wanted to draw this to your awareness. Okay, we have progression. Progression for some of the things in your life that you have been working for slowly and steadily for, I'm hearing, way too long, okay? You're going to have clarity here. Krishna is saying that you have most of the clarity that you need and not the clarity that perhaps you would have wanted or seeked, not what would have been convenient for you, but what you needed. Now you've got more than enough. The rest of this will be coming in. And Krishna also would like to let you know that you are a transparent soul. The divine can be seen through your eyes. The divine can be seen through your aura. The divine can be heard through your mouth. Do not worry about your physical confidence. Be as confident as the divine is. You are God and God is you. You are, that, that is why we have the source gratitude and this body awareness card. You are God and God is you. You are the universe and the universe is you. And what other energies would you like to draw to? Ooh, okay, we have a miracle awaits coming out yet again with aligned timing and inner world, okay? This is something that you've been wishing in secret or this is a goal you've been working towards that you feel as though you haven't been telling people or you want to protect because this is something that falls under that to you, group number three. Part of the expect the unexpected is something that um, you don't want to tell others about this goal or this manifestation or something you've been working towards simply because sometimes when you tell people what you're working towards, other energies can interfere. Not all the time, but this is something that falls under that umbrella for you individually. Krishna would like for you to know that, yes, follow the plan. Follow the plan that you are provided. Allow the treadmill to run. And if it's too fast for you to go step for step with right now, there's a reason for that. It's not because you're supposed to try, it's because you're not. Sometimes you're not being given something that's too hard for you. Sometimes you're being given something that you're meant to be hands-off about. Sometimes if you look at it and it seems a little ridiculous for it to be you being hands-on, it's because you're not supposed to. So remember that. Always remember that. Krishna would like to remind you that it's safe to, that not only are you allowed to take a step back, but you're supposed to at this point in time. This does not mean that you are not, this does not mean that you are stopping your progression. It simply means that it's time for something that you've been working towards for a very long time. So instead of the treadmill slowing down to a stop and then you getting off of it, Rather, you got off the treadmill because you were intuitively led to. The treadmill started speeding up, and now you're wondering why you're not working harder. Or how you're supposed to work hard enough to keep up with that, especially from being off the treadmill. The answer here is you got off the treadmill for a reason. 
allow yourself to be an observer to it and when it makes sense for you to integrate the treadmill back into your life then do but at this point in time if things are a little too much for you to do it's because you're not supposed to and krishna would like to say sometimes it is that transparent sometimes it is that clear especially when you are manifesting things be orchestrated in your favor by the divine Group number three, if you have been asking the universe, God, source, divine, your guides for help and assistance, and things are shifting in large ways, this is not for you to try to hold everything in your hands and see what's going on and maneuver and reorganize your life and your schedule and everything that you're doing in order to make these things make sense. Rather, this is an answer to your prayers. Let it finish flipping over. Let them finish doing what they're doing. And... Simply be there, and again we had gratitude come out, simply be there, and say thank you. Say thank you before you know why, and then say thank you again when you do, and say thank you every single day along the process. This is an important part of your life. You're going to be reaching a goal that you've had for a long time that did not ever come from your ego, it came from the divine. There's a reason for this. And when you're trying to figure out, this is something that you probably work towards without intentionally working towards it. This is something where you walk further because you like to walk not because you're aiming towards a particular destination. Surprise group number three, you've already surpassed it, and things are flipping over in order to show you that. Wow. Group number three, this is your channeled message from Krishna. As always, group three, I love you. I hope this helps shed love, light, and clarity for you. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day, week, month, year, and incarnation in this beautiful, magical realm. If you're interested in any of the decks used in today's reading, any journals to help you along your journey, books to learn more about this, or crystals, other spiritual tools, meditation cushions. You can find all of that below in my store in the description box. Thank you so much for being here. I'm grateful for you. I love you, and I'll see you next time. Namaste.